Efforts to help the sea turtle population rebound continues to make some major headway here on the Sun Coast. Well, Marine Lab has documented a record-breaking season with more than 4,000 loggerhead turtle nests. As ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates tells us, the season is still going strong. It is uncommon to see an active sea turtle nest like this one this time of year, but it does happen. That's why officials are asking you to continue all the necessary nesting precautions you've been using all season. The turtle season is determined by humans um, based on our data, and it's always been from May 1st through October 31st, but the turtles don't exactly know those rules, so we have had a few nests that were laid in September. The late laying of eggs means there's still several active sea turtle nests incubating, and to ensure those turtles hatch and make it to the water, officials are asking beachgoers and those who live near the water to be on alert. If they know that there's a turtle nest near their location to make sure to still keep your lights off at night because those hatchlings are going to use the light to find their way to the water. And if, you're, if your lights are on, a, on your house, they're going to find their way to your house instead. And in addition, just uh, respect the boundaries of the nest. Christine Mazzarella is one of several Moat Marine scientists working on the sea turtle conservation and research program. For the last 35 years, the organization has implemented an information campaign, which includes marking the turtle nests as well as letting people know the do's and don'ts. And Mazzarella says the efforts are working. This year was a great year. We had uh, almost double the number of our record nests. And that probably has to do with the conservation efforts start starting almost a turtle generation ago. Mozzarella says so far this year, they've documented more than 4,500 sea turtle nests, beating the record of 2,400 sea turtle nests set back in 2005. And knowing that sea turtles are currently on the endangered species list, many beachgoers are celebrating the efforts. I've seen them, but they haven't impacted at all. I think it's uh, absolutely superb. Uh, we wondered whether they would stay as well protected in, if it was in England as opposed to here, but uh, the efforts here seem to be magnificent. And with several more nests still active, many are hoping beachgoers and those who live close by will continue to do their part. I think it's just important to make sure you're following the rules and leaving them alone so they'll be able to grow. She'll say when this and the other active sea turtle nests are completely hatched, they'll remove the stakes giving the area an all clear. Bo Beth Yates, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.